Hello Today, 3D Studio Max, Field of View, Blender Field of View. So select your camera in 3D Studio Max, go to Modify, <coughs> Parameters, Lens, Millimeter, 35, and we can have stock lenses here. So we can change the field of view here, and we can change it using the stock lenses here. Yeah. For people that don't really know, field of view is the, you know, the where we can see in the camera from here to here. Yeah. So a small field of view, a wide is a wide angle. So 15 millimeters is a wide angle lens. Yeah? So it makes everything really distorted and perspectivey, like in this viewport here. Take the lens higher, then it gets flatter. Yeah? The higher you get it, almost loses its perspective. So it's almost like an orthographic projection. Orthographic perspective, rather. So 3D Studio Max, like so. Blender, again, you select the camera. You must select a camera. Comes up with this icon here. And we go to focal length. Make sure you're in, a, in the perspective with the camera. Um, locked view, and we just have to slide it in and out like so. I'd recommend using the stock lenses in Max, similar measurements like 35, using them in Blender. Yeah. Because we're in life we're used to cinematography and photographs using these stock lenses in a way. So it's kind of the pattern that we see. But, you, you know, you're welcome to mess around with the field of view to do what you want, to get it how you like. But, you know, as I say, getting things nice and perspective -y can make it look dramatic, and taking it up a bit reduces the angle. You know, you can concentrate on objects and things like that for close-ups. So that's basically field of view in Blender and field of view in 3D Studio Max. So check out my website www.jamesableart.com for more tutorials and my own artwork and this YouTube channel for loads of tutorials as well. So I hope to speak to you soon and thanks very much for listening and watching this screencast. Bye for now.